All right, so now that we have Terraform installed, we are ready to uh, go through our first basic Terraform tutorial. And the idea is to try to touch a bit of everything going through uh, a very basic workflow. Um, and the reason I want to do this early on with you, it's not important for you to know what all these things do and remember them because we're gonna cover them multiple times throughout this course, but just to give you kind of an end-to-end -end experience so you have a point of reference because it's really hard to learn Terraform because you have to kind of go back a, a lot to uh, remember information, okay? So uh, we'll just start at the top here. And what I wanna do is in my getting started folder, I'm going to make a new file called main.tf. Um, the way Terraform works is you can name the files whatever you want, but generally the standard practice is to use main.tf when you just have a single file or the entry point file. But I'm pretty sure the Terraform will read anything that starts with TF and treat all the files as one single uh, file, okay? So once we have our main TF, we're going to need to add ourselves a provider. So what I'll do is make my way over to my browser here, and I want to go to the Terraform registry. So just type in Terraform registry. And uh, what we'll do here is go and look at providers. And since we're gonna start with AWS, we'll click that in the top left corner. We have this use provider and we can just go ahead and grab this code, okay? And so we'll go ahead and paste that in. And uh, so now what you'll see here is we have this Terraform block, that is our Terraform settings configuration. We need to have a provider, at least a single one. And so we're using uh, AWS here. Um, notice that the source is HashiCorp AWS because this provider um, is provided by HashiCorp, not AWS themselves, but it is an official one. So it is in pretty good shape, okay? Uh, notice the version is uh, 3.580. Um, I don't know much about the versions in terms of how they matter, um, but I would just say you probably want to stay up to date to the latest, okay? Uh, so down below we have provider AWS, and this is where we're going to configure our additional options. So this is where we would do like our AWS credentials. But before we do that, let's go uh, find whatever code we need to provision ourselves a virtual machine, because that would probably be the easiest thing that we could do. So what I want you to do is go back to the Terraform registry and we'll click on the documentation because this is where we're gonna find all our information for anything we want to provision, okay? So if we want to provision EC2 instance, which is a virtual machine on AWS, we'll expand that uh, there. And I know that it's called AWS instance. So I'm just gonna scroll on down here and click on AWS instance. And right away we have ourselves a, a very easy example. Um, I'm just gonna scroll down here and just see what else we have. So this all looks okay, but you know what? I think that I'd rather go grab one from the Terraform um, tutorial here because I believe that they have a much nicer one here for AWS. So I'm just gonna scroll on down here. Yeah, this one's a lot simpler. So what we'll do, so just grab this code here and we'll make our way back. Okay, and uh, I think it's probably good to set our region. So I'm gonna do US East one, because that's where I like to deploy things. Uh, and for profile, we can set it as default. That's totally fine for now. And so notice here we have AWS instance. That's going to be the type of resource we want to provision, which is an EC2 instance. And then we're gonna name it whatever we want. App server, my server. I'm gonna name it something else here. Uh, TT micro is pretty standard. This would be the name. So I would just say my server. Okay, and then we need to get our AMI. I'm just gonna clear that out. So that's pretty much all it takes to set up a resource for AWS, but we're gonna to have to go get the AMI instance and we're also gonna to need to go get our credentials. So let's go do that next. All right, so what I've done here is I've logged into my AWS account. You are going to have to create your own AWS account. And if you're looking for how to do that, just go to the readme here and just go to AWS and just go and create an account. It doesn't take that long to do. Uh, you will need a credit card. That's just like with any cloud service provider, you have to have a credit card to activate the account. Doesn't necessarily they're, mean they're gonna charge you anything, but uh, you know there's the possibility in the future that if you do use resources, it's possible to uh, have a uh, spend, okay? So what I wanna do is make my way over to IAM. And uh, I'm gonna to go to users. Oops, over here, and I have a user here, but what I'm gonna do is go ahead and delete this user, just because this is an old one for me. I'm just gonna start the process over and create a new one. And this is considered a machine user because I'm never going to use this user to log into AWS. I'm only gonna use it to generate out uh, programmatic keys. So I'm typing my name in here, Andrew Brown. 
Uh, and if you wanted to, you could really just type in Terraform as well. Actually, that's what I'm gonna do. And I only wanna give it pragmatic access. So I generated an access ID and secret. Um, I'm going to give it uh, admin access. So what I've done here is I've created an admin rule, but let's just make a new group. We're gonna call it Terraform. And we're gonna give it admin access. This gives you 100% access to all of AWS. Uh, if you are uncomfortable with that, you can try power user, but um, it used to be called power user anyway. If we can't find it that way, we can drop it down here and say um, AWS manage policies. And there should be, or there should be like role-based ones here. Ah, job functions, there it is. And so, uh, you know, if admin access is too much, you can do power user, and that usually prevents people from creating users and groups. Uh, so that might be more uh, or, or, or uh, less of a problem, but I just want everything to work for this tutorial. So I'm gonna do what everybody does, and we're gonna give admin access, okay? And so now we have that new group. Um, it says no policies are attached. I'm not sure why, maybe I forgot to attach them. So I'll just go back in here. Oh no, it's there, okay. Not sure why I didn't say it was there, but we'll go back and I'll just check box on Terraform. I guess it needed a refresh, eh? And we'll just hit next, next, create user. And so now I have an access ID in secret. So this is gonna vanish after uh, I leave this page. So I wanna leave it open. And what I'll do is go down below here I'm gonna open up my um, AWS credentials. So I'm not sure how to open this in uh, VS Code. So I'm just gonna type in Vi or Vim. And I'm gonna to go to uh, tilde, that's your home directory, forward slash dot AWS. And this is gonna be in credentials. Okay, and so here I can add that. So we want to have a default profile. So I'll make square braces, type in default. Um, and then I need to put in these keys. So I don't remember, I mean, it should be just like AWS you know, it's key something, but I always forget what it is. So what we'll do is just look it up, say AWS credentials. And it should just tell us here, there they are. So this is generally what we're looking for. So I'll just copy that. And I'm going to go ahead, and paste that in there. And I'll just clear out these keys because these are not my real keys. Uh, I also like setting the region here. So I'm just gonna set it to US East one. That is the, uh, the the default region for AWS and has the most stuff. Well, technically your default region is gonna be whatever's near you, but that's where all new services are launched. So we're not gonna run into any problems if we use US East one. Uh, and I'll go ahead and grab my key. Okay. And we will go ahead and paste that in. And I will go ahead and grab this secret. Okay, and we'll paste that in. And I'm just gonna double check if that ends actually with a tilde. I don't think it does. I think I introduced that by accident. So I'll just delete that out. And just double check because once you leave this page, you're not gonna see it again. So AK, uh, IE, PM, K1, that is for me. And of course, don't ever show these to anybody. Um, for me, I will, I will be uh, regenerating these. So uh, by the time this is published, you won't have these and you can't compromise my sandbox account, which wouldn't be a big deal anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this file um, and probably be smart to have the AWS CLI installed. So if you're wondering about that, AWS CLI, I already have it installed on this machine, but let's go take a look uh, and see how it gets installed. Oh, this looks like something new, developer preview AWS shell, that looks cool. AWS CLI install, oh, it's over here. So download, unzip, and then run the Linux installer. So if we wanted to do it for Linux, I go in here and I would just go ahead and start grabbing this stuff. So we'll just go and curl that file. It's probably a good idea to install the, um, the CLI here. After a short wait, that finished there. So we'll go grab the next line here, which is to unzip it. All right, so after waiting a little while there, it finally unzipped. And so we can go ahead and run the last command, which is sudo uh, period AWS install. 
and so that shouldn't take too long. Okay, and so here it's just saying found pre-existing ABUS CLI because I already have it. Please rerun install script with the update flag. So you would not have to do this, but I'm going to do this because um, you know I'm just trying to get it up to date so that I'm on the latest while doing this tutorial with you. We'll just give it a second to see if it executes there. I think we'll just wait. Okay, great. So now it is using the latest. So if I just type in AWS version, I have uh, 2.2.38. What I will also do is just go ahead and delete this uh, zip here that it placed in my directory and also this AWS directory just to make sure that it's working if, if I delete it. Just assuming that it didn't uh, install it in this directory here and it's I mean, it does say it's in user local bin, but just as a sanity check there, okay? So we'll type in version again. Okay, great. And so now what we'll do is just type in AWS uh, S3 list just to see if there's anything there. Um, so it has an issue. Let's just type in AWS, I think it's AWS credentials to uh, authenticate. Uh, I haven't done it in a while, so let's just take a look at what we can do to check that out. Because we did set up the credentials file, but sometimes, sometimes you might have to run a command here. So I'm just gonna find that, okay? I'll be back in a second. All right, so I didn't have to look far. I just went to configuring to configuration basis. It's AWS configure, not uh, credentials. Um, I'm not configuring new CLIs all the time here. So what we'll do is just type in AWS configure. And so here it has that key. I still have my, uh, my IAM open here. So it's IE, so that is correct. And then that is forward slash Y H. That looks correct. Default region is US East, yes. Um, default output, you know, JSON sounds good to me. So, uh, you know, if I do AWS S3 list, that should work. Because the signature you provided does not match. Check your signing method. So, uh, just give me a second to figure that out, okay? All right, so I just tried another command that I know that should just work, and it's just saying that they're not valid uh, access credentials. So if it's having problems with those, then that generally means that we need to go and fix our credentials. So maybe there's like a hidden character we pasted by accident or something. You might not be having this problem, but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and double check. So what I'll do is go back over here, and I'm gonna go back to my users, or I am. And we will go to users. And we will go into Terraform here. And we will go to our security credentials. I'm gonna delete those ones. You have to deactivate them first and then I'm gonna delete it. And we'll create new ones. We'll give this another go. It really likes to put that tilde in there. And that uh, doesn't end with a one. So you're seeing I'm getting like weird characters as I do this. But just double check to make sure they are correct. AK at the start, EU on the end, okay. This is default, that looks correct to me. The region looks fine to me. So we'll go ahead and quit this and we will try this again. Great, and so it works. And I do have a few uh, uh, S3 buckets there uh, prior in the sandbox here. So uh, you might not might not get anything, but as long as you're not getting the error that's saying does not match signature or validation doesn't work. So now that's all set up, uh, if we go back to main TF, that means that this here is going to use the default profile. So uh, that's gonna make it easy. So the last thing we need to do to set up this virtual machine is provided an AMI. And the reason why is that an AMI is a required field. So what I wanna do is just go back over to the documentation here. And if you scroll on down to attribute references, you can see uh, what is required. So um, 
Well, AMI should be required. I guess the only thing that's required is the instance type here, maybe? Uh, am I in it? Yeah, I am. So, I might have went too far down here. Oh, instance type is optional. Huh. Op they're both optional. Okay, maybe it's just like one or the other. Um, but I think that if we didn't have the AMI there, we'd probably run into an issue. Um, so let's go ahead and make our way over to EC2. And we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves that AMI ID. So we'll go and make sure we're in North Virginia, which is US East 1. We'll go ahead and launch a new instance. And I want the Amazon Linux 2. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this X68 AMI, AMI ID. And it's really important that you watch uh, which region you're in because different regions, these IDs are going to be different, okay? So we'll get, go ahead there and save that. And so technically, we should be ready to be able to do a plan and apply to provision this. But uh, before we do that, there's a couple things that we should do, which is to try out doing format and validate, okay?